Now the On Your Side forecast with Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval. Well, those gray skies continue in the Treasure Valley. We had clear skies overnight last night, and then a veil of just gray just developed rapidly and pushed across the entire Treasure Valley. We are socked in right now, staying gray outside with these low clouds. And you think, wait, it must be like this everywhere, right? Well, it is in the valley, but you get above the valley, and it's absolutely delightful, which I'll show you here in a moment. But that's what it pretty much looked like to most of the Treasure Valley today. Live picture from the village at Meridian, and uh, not too much going on today. Temperature-wise, in Boise, I guess I showed you we got to about 34 35 today and dropping down to 33 now southerly breeze at nine now the breeze was up a little bit and that really made for a wind chill factor in the 20s most of the day so a blustery colder day today pressure this is quite high right now when you have very high pressure then it starts to drop you've got a chance of some snow coming in in the winter time and we will be on the border of rain and snow friday morning it should trend to rain and may even start as rain or some freezing rain in the treasure valley i think we'll have rain but east of boise there could be snow and in the mountains there will be some snow. All right, here's what it looks like outside the valley. This was today. No cloud cover whatsoever in McCall. 25 degrees right now. This Brundage Mountain. I mean some pristine skiing. And on the other side of this, looking out towards the New Meadows, there's a thick layer of cloud. Again, uh, an inversion cloud cover mass just below uh, Brundage Mountain. So beautiful clear skies at Brundage and at uh, Stanley Lake. Actually, this is Redfish Lake all throughout the Stanley Basin, the Wood River Valley. Amazing weather. 25 degrees. Crystal clear skies and mountain locations today. And temperatures about where they should be, not really warm. And so some great skiing going on. The same story tomorrow. There'll be some clouds late in the day in the western parts of the valley. But more sunshine, I expect, during the day tomorrow. 17 in Stanley now. There's the 33 in Boise. Twin, you're at 27 degrees. You've got the low clouds. Tomorrow, your clouds may break. And even in the Treasure Valley, as our storm system, which is really right here, starts to move its way in. This will thin out. This is not too much. This is One chart shows this little bit of rain here coming across and trying to do something in the Boise Mountains tomorrow afternoon. So if there's a sprinkle or a snow shower, that's where that's coming from. I have a feeling that will disappear. This is the main system here to the west where it is rain. will turn into snow as it moves on in. But we're strengthening the inversion just a little bit. It will warm up and it will get cold enough for precipitation to come in as all snow for Friday. So when you look at the future cast, tomorrow, uh, tomorrow morning, Still the low clouds around, but as the system approaches, the breeze may stir things up a little bit. And if that happens, we could break the clouds a bit during the afternoon tomorrow. But this is Friday morning. If you're waking up at 7 o'clock, heavy snow will be flying in the Boise Mountains and in the West Central Mountains. Rain falling in the Treasure Valley. This is 7 a.m. By 2 o'clock, we may be ending that precipitation in the Treasure Valley. And even in the West Central Mountains, we dry on out. And Saturday morning when you wake up, we may have blue skies in the Treasure Valley. But clouds, you'll see them from the west. They'll start to thicken as they move on in. Another storm system headed in our direction, and that one means business for Saturday night and Sunday. This is the first storm system. This is a half inch of moisture, so three to six inches of snow, a good bet, in Long Valley as we go for the system on Friday. This will be Friday's weather. Could be three to five inches of snow here while in the East Central Mountains. Not quite as much. The Wood River Valley, one to three inches, but in the higher elevations, two to four inches are likely. So, Treasure Valley forecast. We're going to warm up, and the freezing levels will come up to 5,000 feet on Saturday night, Sunday, but more snow likely in those higher elevations. So, tomorrow, mid 30s a lot like today a brisk wind though will probably pick up now that might break us into some sunshine but there'll be a noticeable wind chill factor tomorrow in the 20s so a cold dark most day of most of the day tomorrow 30s in long valley 40 degrees in idaho city beautiful with the sunshine out there same thing stanley sun valley clouds may break at twin you'll hit 37 with that brisk easterly wind a cold feel with those temperatures feeling like they're in the 20s the extended forecast storm system comes in on friday a break with a little sunshine saturday and then we'll get the clouds increasing with rain Saturday night and Sunday and a break on Martin Luther King Day. But it looks like toward a week from now. We may get some sunshine. Yeah. Really nice. Keep right. you updated on that one. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, Scott. The new issue of Charlie Hebdo is already sold out. Up next, the French continue their recovery after an Al-Qaeda group claims responsibility for the deadly attack on the satire magazine. You're watching Today's Six on your side.